Using our patch keywords can be an efficient way to select channels based on their states without needing to know their channel numbers. In patch, we're gonna press our database soft key. And here you'll notice a bunch of currently blank database fields in our patch display. Let's look at our notes field first. So I'm gonna type channel one, enter. And in our CIA, I'm going to touch my notes box. And this fixture, I just wanna notate for my electricians on the crew. We had to hang this one out sideways from our catwalk due to some architecture up there. I'm gonna put a note here that indicates that. And our scrollers that we hung the other day, a few of those we had to supplement our inventory with some rental gear. So I'm going to use patch to indicate that as well. So I can say 152 through 154 part two, which as a reminder, that's our scroller part. And touch notes. And I'm just going to say rental units. These fields can be used in any way that helps you or your crew as a way to eliminate or complement your show paperwork. Next, let's look at assigning some gel colors. So we'll say one through 10, and I'm going to touch the gel box. The gel box is specifically designed for just that. So here I can type in R33 with my keyboard, meaning Roscoe 33. And it's not only going to add a label to this column, but it's going to give me a color swatch for that color, also in that same column. And 201 through 209, that's going to be Lee 201. The rest of the text fields, the text one through 10, we can customize what those headers are. So let's clear our command line. I'm gonna do a clear here. And I'm gonna to touch text one without anything selected and say label lamp. Text two, label position. And text three, label system. Now you can see the headers of those columns have been replaced with those words that we've defined. Now we'll say one through 10. I'm gonna to touch lamp, formerly text one. And we need to define a keyword to put in here. So I'm gonna type new keyword. And that is a 575 watt HPL. We'll just say 575W for short. It's important to note that anytime you create a new keyword, that is a completely separate variable in the console. So even if they look similar, for example, if this was 575 lowercase w, those are going to be searched independently. So make sure to check your existing keywords before you create a lot of new ones that you may already have. All right, next we're going to select all of our stage left boom fixtures. So it's 131 through 134 plus 141 through 144, 151 through 154, 161 through 164, and 171 through 174. And we are going to say those are position. I need a new keyword. Stage left booms. And now we're going to do the same thing for stage right. So 135 through 138. 145 through 148, 155 through 158, 165 through 168, and 175 through 178. And those are going to be another new keyword, and those are stage right booms. And I'm going to add a second field on some of our boom lights here. So 131 through 138, system. Those are our head high fixtures. So again, new keyword and head high. And then 171 through 178, system, new keyword. Those are our shin busters. We'll call those shins. In the next section, we will look at how we can use this data to quickly grab groups of systems without necessarily knowing their channel numbers.